Hello friends, Randy Sala here, your professor of business, BUSI 1301 Business Principles. I want to shoot a quick little video to you to make sure we're all on the same page and uh, basically where we are right now and how this course ends. I'm going to give you a timeline. I do have this is as an updated course organizer, but let's run through it together. All right, we uh, only have a little bit of time left in the semester maybe six weeks. So let's see how this course plays out. Yikes. Hopefully not this way. I know, my friends, there's a tremendous amount of anxiety just uh, everywhere right now. Hell, I'm scared to death, all right? Uh, I know there's, uh, is there enough food to eat? Uh, do I go out? Do I even say hello to my neighbor? Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty crazy. So what I want to do is try to make this course, you know, take out anxiety. We, we do have to keep the academic integrity of the class, but let's see what we can do to, to mingle the two together and, and make it less stressful because I know you've got work to think about and you probably have other classes as well. So let's not get into the symptoms of anxiety. Let's figure this stuff out. Now I have made some amazing lecture videos as I'm patting myself on the back for you for Unit 3 managing employees in your career, which was always one of my favorite sections to teach. And so I built videos. They're right here. Once you log, once you get to the Unit 3, your videos are right there. So please check those out. Those are going to be immense help to you, immensely helpful, let's put it that way, for your uh, Unit 3 exam. And hopefully give you some nice tips uh, throughout your uh, process here at Tarrant County College and as you get into your professional jobs. I put a lot of stuff out there. And so at any rate, there's where the videos are. Take advantage of them. It's just kind of like we're in a lecture class. You don't see me. You just see the PowerPoint just like this. It's a screen recording. All right, now let's count it down. The HP Life Certificates. You had the five ones and starting your own business. Go, go back and check that out from Unit 2. Now my Friends, we had, I introduced these the first week of February, okay, so uh, uh, about half the class has done them, and another half has not, so they're due tonight, I'm making this video on Friday, March 27th, uh, they're due by 11 p.m., now, allow me to be generous, I will accept them through 11 p.m. They're going to be late, but I'm not, I will accept them without penalty up to 11 p.m. March 30th because I know so many are going to try to do it today and you will simply not have a transcript to send me. Okay. Uh, any submissions after March 30th through April 17th, you're going to, someone will, you will receive a 50% penalty. Okay. That means instead of 100 points, 50 points is what you would get. But hey, this is a point system class, and so every point's going to help. But if you've put it off uh, for so long, uh, I've, I've got to light a fire and get some motivation going. So again, I'll be generous. I won't I'll look the other way as long as I can get them in by Monday, March 30th, because you're doing them today, and you just simply will not have enough time to get a full transcript. And, and some of you have already sent screenshots, which uh, doesn't really help at all. So... Uh, let's make sure we can get that transcript. Now I'm going to go offline here real because I'm using multiple monitors, but right in here, this is your HP Life, okay? And, ever, and I get a lot of questions. Well, I can't find my I can't find my certificate. You know you're logged in once you have that. These are your earned certificates, and so again, you may come to my courses, and you're thinking, well, where should I go? Go to certificates. Go to transcript, view transcript. We've done this in class multiple times. That little button right there, the little download button. Okay. And then again, you can just put your name. Randy's transcript. And I'm going to put that right down into my downloads, and boom. And of course, if you have a Mac, and I hope you do, this is the easiest to use right now. There it is. And so that is what you attach back into the assignment. Super easy. 
8% of you have done that well. I understand it gets a little confusing and you want to send those screenshots, but uh, wait and make sure you get your train, make sure you get your transcript because you're going to want to put that transcript back on your LinkedIn page. And that will LinkedIn and looked at internships for the summer and do that for, for Texas and then Dallas. There's a lot of good internships out there, my friends, and this is the time to start applying for them. So uh, I want you to be able to use these HP certificates as just extra validity to your education. So there we go for the HP timeline. Unit 3 exam. All right, that is coming up. So here's what I've done. This is going to be available next Wednesday, April 1st. What? It, it's not due April 1st. I know many of you are working at a fast pace. I've already, you've already done your HP certificates. I've had several business models already turned in. And so you're trying to get through this course fast so you can finish your other courses. And I get that. So April 1st is when it is open. It's going to be due April 9th. So it's open for over a week on the class website. So April 9th, please put that in your phone by 11 p.m. Okay, it's 100 points. Utilize that amazing exam review. Again, if you'll watch through the videos and with your review, and of course I've given you the uh, binder already in a PDF form, so you can, you know, if you're willing to print that out or at least have it with you as you look at it, but the, uh, the videos are the PowerPoint, so you should be very, very well for that. Now look what I've done. We need to take the test. We need to keep the class with some integrity, but I've also given you three attempts. I need some leniency here, and I'm going to count the highest grade. So you could click it on April 1st if you've done your stuff already. You've watched the videos and looked through it. Take it then and take it throughout. You have three times. You use every attempt because the highest grade goes through. Not the, not the last grade, the highest. So by the third attempt, uh, you should be nailing this. And uh, if I see all A's on the test, I'll just say fantastic. It worked. So there's your Unit 3 exam. The business model. All right. Again. This is not a surprise. This was issued out the, I believe, on February 2nd because we tried because we got that first unit done so fast in this course. This is why you know we did it that fast because we don't know what's going to happen in the future. I have extended the due date to April 23rd. I mean, the class is almost over by April 23rd, 11 p.m. There it is. There's our plan. I again. Several students have already submitted theirs, and for those who did, great work. Very proud of you, and get that business going. Many of you just needed to maybe get a licensure to, op to operate because you're doing something that requires uh, some sort of a license. Uh, hey, we need to make some money, and friends, when this crazy pandemic is, is lightened up, and yeah, that may be June, you know, when we're first, when we feel like, okay, we've We've got good room to breathe, and we can start really opening this economy up. Uh, your service business, your business idea, just could really take off. So, so be planning, you know, some sort of a launch in the summer. But right now, if you have not done it, if you have not even started it, well, you know what you have to do. Get your idea. Follow the business model assignment. There's a category, all right? There's all the categories you have to do. There's your situation analysis. I just need to put catastrophe up here next time. And I will because this was something that uh, blindsided, a you know, uh, the majority of everyone. But hit your strategies. Again, everything that we have, bullet it. Just put bulleted answers and complete every, you know, category. And if you come up to at least a thousand words and again, it, you know, it makes some sort of sense. So you've, you've done some good formatting. Uh, you should get an 80, all right? That's a B. Nothing wrong with that. It's a great grade, in my opinion. If you want a higher grade, the more you write, the better the grade gets. And again, uh, the better quality of writing is too. So, But, but right now, if, if we're just starting it out, and, or we haven't even started it, do my strategy. Hit every category that that assignment has, bullet your answers, and you can give simple bulleted sentences, get up to at least a thousand words with everything completed. Don't just get a thousand words on the situation analysis and say, hey, I'm done right here. 
uh, that, that still gets you a failing grade. You've got to hit everything that we talked about. And so, you know, if you want to go back and add more to it, that's great. But at least let's get it done. That's, that's pretty much our motto for everything right now. Let's just get it done. Personal finance, that's going to be open next week. I'm in the process of creating a video series that is going to help you on the exam, but it's, uh, uh, again, another one of my favorite things to teach because uh, right now, uh, how many of us have blown through so much money uh, of just trying to stay alive? And so I try to teach you how to get an emergency fund, how to budget, uh, how to start investing, try to complete your, your financial plan, what are some things we could be doing, getting a credit score. And so you'll find all those in the videos, all right? And I also teach this course. Uh, hopefully, and I think so, by fall, we're going to be back to, to, to some sort of normalcy. And uh, so this will be at 9.30 a.m. on Monday, Wednesdays. And I will blend this course. I do believe you're going to see a majority of the courses going forward in some sort of a blended atmosphere, which is good, which means you can take the course online very quickly. So after the first few weeks, we'll only meet on Monday mornings, Wednesdays. You will uh, I'll either have a video for you to watch or you'll be doing some of your projects there. So you'll have a whole day to work on assignments and you won't have to come to class. So I think that makes it pretty cool. And I also generally teach this course online. I think it's possibly the most important course anyone ever takes because it's all about you. It, it, it's, it's, it's not about theory. It's about you getting strategies and developing your financial plan that will take you through life. Now that exam okay, will be available Monday, April 20th, okay, so that gives you plenty of time to watch the videos, uh, read read through the, the notes I have for you, and uh, you have until 11 p.m. Tuesday, the 28th, to take that test, because this is the week of finals. We're, we're shutting everything down. The college is not extending the semester. There may be a program or two that has to be extended, like nursing or EMT, but, but those follow different schedules. For our lecture, it will end on May 6th, uh, okay? So, it's 100 points. You have a week to take it. Again, three attempts, and your highest grade counts. Please don't just take that one time, unless you just made 100 off of it or a 95, then great, you're good. But you have three attempts, and again, it is the highest grade that counts. So, you should have, uh, again, take some of the anxiety out of testing, and again, I think uh, this test is it's, it's about you and your finances, so it is not an arbitrary uh, financial exam. And if that's not enough, I do have for you an improvement exam. Now that will take place on the 30th, which is the first day of final exams. So the improvement exam basically goes over all of the other exams that we've had in the course. It's a, either 40 or 50 questions. You'll get two attempts, highest grade counts. It is optional. You don't if, if you're happy with what you got on your tests, then don't worry about it. If for some reason uh, you really blew it on an exam, and for the most part, I think everyone's done pretty well, but you know it, it, is, it will not hurt you if for any reason I took the test, I scored lower than my other exams. I don't even look at it. Okay, but it's really out there. If someone wants to improve one grade, this will replace that grade. Okay, and that will go on April 30th live. And then you have until Monday, May 4th. I just kind of extended that out. That is the deadline to take it, but I'm going to open it up early so you'll have that weekend. Because we know Internet's not working as well as we'd like to. I mean, everybody's at home uh, utilizing this. Families are at home. I'm at home with my daughter who's at, uh, doing her schoolwork, and my wife is doing advising. So we have to take different times of the day just, just to be able to not overwhelm the system. So this gives you plenty of time. And again, that's why your other exams are open so long. If you want to get a head start, hit it. But I know a lot of you are sharing uh, computers and with your family, uh, and you're sharing uh, just your bandwidth time. So I hope that will help you through everything. Again, uh, the quick roundup, HP Life Certificates due tonight. I will extend that to March 30th, Monday without penalty. Any time after that, through, through March 30th through April 17th, you, the best you can get is 50 points. Hey, points are points, and they add up. The Unit 3 exam, again, Wednesday, April 1st, is open. It's due Thursday, April 9th. For those who want to work ahead, you, you got it. All right? Three attempts. Use every attempt. The business model, okay? 
this project is not canceled. All right, it is not. Uh, this is going to help you. This is going to change your life, I believe. It's going to be a game changer for your life. Due Thursday, April 23rd by 11 p.m. Personal finance, we're getting that up. That exam will be the last week that we have. All right, so that's April 20th through the 28th. You have plenty of opportunities. Again, three attempts. Your highest grade is the one that will be recorded. And then there's an improvement exam if anyone needs to. It's completely optional, so don't think that you have to do this. We can do it, all right? We can do it. We're a, a nation and a people that are very creative and very industrious. So don't let any of the anxiety bog us down. And it can very easily, but don't let it, all right? Contact me anytime. If something happens, you certainly have that email and uh, hit me up with that. If uh, something bad has happened, let me know, and I would do my best to work with you. All right, so keep your tuned to the announcements and the emails, and, and please put that email on your phone if you haven't already. That way I can uh, do any updates that we need. All right, guys, make it a great day.